start the meeting. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry to be late. Um, <laughs> okay. Um, any apologies? Welcome, everybody. Nice to see you all. Um, and uh, good to get a kind of briefing as well on that meeting. I did call in um, uh, briefly, but I could see uh, many of you there. So uh, I, I felt um, having uh, already done a very long day, I called off again. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so, um, okay, to begin uh, today, apologies for absence. Gareth, have we heard from anyone? Yeah, we haven't heard any, any but um, if we just bear with it a bit, because obviously I'm not sure if we've only just tapped Councillor Brindley to say we're online. So if, if, they, don't, if they don't join, we'll, we'll take it as a technical failing again. Okay. Um, that's fine. Yeah, that's great. Thank you. Um, and uh, anyone else? We've lost Tony, haven't we? <laughs> yeah, I think Paul. I think Paul's just sitting in, which he's quite entitled to do. So okay, great. Um, and so yeah, that's fine then. Um, then uh, declaration of interest. Any declarations of interest? No. No. Okay. Um, minutes from the previous meeting. Any queries, questions? Can I propose that we accept them? Yeah. Suppose we accept them. Yeah. Um, uh, Gareth, there was a matter arising in uh, in them, um, in that uh, we uh, haven't had an update. I noticed in the agenda, and my it was only just now when I was refreshing my mind about it. We uh, discussed the um, the, uh, the co-opted members, and then in particular with my ear. Uh, stepping down as well yeah, yeah. Uh, when, uh, when are we able to touch on that uh, if you've got correspondence that Maya has stepped down so you can okay. consider look at it then that item there that's what i said in the email to you okay sure. great thank you, thank you. Um, um, use that uh, use that um, resignation what... to have a discussion on it yeah yeah great um and uh and so all in favor of the minutes yeah yeah great thank you uh, then, uh, chair's announcements. Um, what do I have to announce? Uh, I guess I can announce uh, that. Um, uh, so, following the decision of the the town council not to proceed with the borough bus, um, the community groups have continued discussions about what they want to do, uh, and uh, in discussions with the national lottery. The National Lottery has encouraged them to apply for um, a large grant or a grant under the recently announced Climate Change, climate Action Fund. Um, and so they're considering how they best uh, respond to that. But it sounds like it will be something that they take forward um, without a council. Um, they're looking at other lead organisations that uh, could provide that service, such as um, South Denbyshire Community Partnership. Um, or um, potentially uh, Chitterslow UK is another uh, organisation they've con they've considered raising. Um, so um, we'll uh, that's only only an update to say that uh, you know it's positive that they were able to carry on the discussion, and we'll see see what they come up with. Yeah, brilliant. Great. Um, then. Um, I think that's all from my side. Uh, Town clerk's reports. Can I? Can I just? Can I just slip in because the, there isn't anywhere for a kind of vice chair announcement or anything. Uh, I've I, there's a uh, Chitterslow UK meeting I'm attending on Saturday. Yeah, uh, and I'll update you on uh, what they say at our next meeting. Lovely. Thanks, Jim. Yeah, the review of the webinars, I, I mean, for a first attempt, and I know perhaps the volumes were fun, weren't great on some of the nights, um, I thought they went quite well, really, though. Uh, and generally, the feedback I've been getting that people enjoyed uh, the content and how it went, yeah. um, the learning curve for everybody. Uh, I've tried to, um, I mean, I think a big thank you, as I say in here, to Jen, who... Um, Obviously, you do far more than I did about using the event right and online systems, and I think she significantly helped to promote them. So I'd, I'd like, you know, later on if we thank her. I have looked at the 
as I said, tables. Um, uh, in the appendix, you can see the circulation list I had of people I was constantly sending the links to. Yeah. Well, they, they were sent all the links in January, February, and then before each meeting, each event, I was sending out a reminder with the link. So on, on certain areas, you know, like Eventbrite, we only had 18 on uh, for the first time in the webinar, rather than 20 actually turned up. Uh, I mean, that was largely the one of the more contentious ones, as we know. Mm. <laughs> Energy and, um, and uh, um, again, we had more participants than had registered. Then we, we dipped a bit uh, with uh, culture, environment, um, uh, and, and community and well-being. But uh, when you look at how the um, the videos have subsequently been seen by people, you know, we've got some good good reach there. Uh, yeah. in the figures have been over a thousand on two of them, and then nearly a thousand on environmental and food. Um, yeah. And you know, as I said, um, generally, the con as you know, people are happy and they felt the. Uh, the use of the art perhaps starts for 10, as they say in the University Challenge, and that we need to, again, as you've all, I think, agreed, need to look at the series or you know, some events uh, in, the, in the autumn. And as, yeah. as Council just said, you know, we, we could do them as our ch around Chichester Sunday, as it were, you know, that, uh, call them the, the Chichester Sunday events, and, but not, not hold them all on the same day, obviously. Yeah. Uh, but with a bit more planning and a bit more um, time, we could probably get the messages out far better. Um, I've, I've already had an approach from uh, citizens' advice who weren't yet in the first round to ask if we were doing it again. Yeah. They were eager to do it because they'd heard it was really good thing to do. Yeah, yeah. so that's good. And then what I've done, I've gone through a couple of times and tried to then capture um, in section four, some of the things that came out. I said travel and transport was dominated. Let me just check there's no audience yet. It was dominated really by criticism of the social distancing measures. So it was a bit, uh, you know, difficult. Uh, I don't know, I, thought, I didn't think so, Gareth. I, I mean, I expect, obviously there was plenty of notice that that was what it was going to, but I thought that the, the session was, was really, um, you know, yes, people raised that, but I thought there was quite interesting questions that came up as well. And yeah, just yeah. Was more yeah, well, yeah, no, I'm saying, but unfortunately, it was, uh, you know, a bit of a hit squad, was not it, whatever you call it. Um, but, you know, uh, obviously, um, there was general support for the social distancing measure and the future proposals. Yeah. Um, and they wanted, you know, the proposals into, to move, oh, some typos there, to move into action. There's a lot of debate on the merits of social distancing measures. Uh, progress on the active travel need for more routes on, and then on the radar links to the pocket park which we know are now in the pipeline and the traffic calming the 20 mile an hour was all generally quite positively um, taken forward um, energy and housing again um, the scale and need for housing in Llangollen that was interesting I thought it was uh, the people I thought she was brilliant Gary yeah. 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 we and, and need the, her back don't we really yeah, and yeah. really need to. I think the telling statistic was when she came in at the end to say how many were registered on Titeg. Yeah, um, yeah. And and the need to make sure that we get that message out really. Yeah. Uh, tea and pods are very interesting because I worked with the old. Um, well, there used to be a tenant of a workshop in. Tri, tri, um, I can't remember the corner. Tri, outside Newtown, Dragon, and um, and I didn't think they were still going, but the tea and pods. Tianos is that you build a house overnight. It's a Welsh custom. You've, if you go build a house on land overnight, you can own it. So is that still going ahead? And I think it's been done largely by pig stocks in Oswestry, Street, so it's not a million miles away. Um, so you know, if we could look at perhaps finding some sites and uh, doing that. Uh, I thought the energy consumption stuff was excellent. Yeah. Uh, and mm. then not to perhaps buy a car yet because batteries are going to improve in what is it, five years or something. Um, so there's an, um, you know, and, and even even now we had Stuart's fairly good contribution about those um, something inverters put them down somewhere. Uh, yeah. Some grid tie inverters, which uh, was quite interesting. Yeah. Um, obviously, it needs to lobby about building regs and planning because 
it is strange how they don't insist to have more solar panels or photovoltaic on the roof of modern buildings. It is, you know, that came up quite a bit and that's yeah. a bit crazy, really. Um, the retrofits the housing stock, obviously that was good. I thought that gentleman was clear as well, what are you saying? Yeah. They've used the money this year and they are looking for more grants. So, and he may well look at that uh, grid tie inverter concept in the in houses. Yeah. Culture and tourism, another good session, I thought. Um, lots of interesting um, uh, ideas. But I like the one about keeping the young, you know, the hospitality sector's got quite a lot of young people and keeping them on board and keeping their attention and keeping them ready to go so when they come back out of lockdown. Yeah. Uh, improving the car connectivity in town. Um, and I think I said on the night, I know here in Welsh, well, the town hall has got um, Vodafone masts in the, in the tower to allow better coverage and you know they actually earn an income from it so perhaps I don't know it's something the town council might want to consider yeah see whether we could get something in the bell tower paid for and and, and uh, get more connectivity in town um, that's right the young people uh, more engagement again what we said useful um, and an overview to Facebook so the newsletter concept came up I mean, there's an old concept that Helen Belton could take credit for it, of having a Llangollen Chamber of Culture and Events, I think she called it. And yeah. if, we, if, we, if we could bring that forward, that would be a useful one. Uh, piggy bank and opportunities about the online presence of the Estarvod. Um, this is interesting because it did come up mini food festivals to springboard and promote other festivals and events, <laughs> which has now come about and hopefully will. Say no press, Della. I'm just concerned that Sean and Co are really um, upset about the coverage, so um, they may not want to be tarred with a brush. But hopefully, uh, sense will prevail. Is it, is it, you need a thicker skin like me. Is, yeah. it, is it is it worth putting out something to Flam Blogger about what we actually actually kind of agreed on what it might look like? Yeah. Um, well, as I said, I've done this statement that went to um, to counter the selling of rice, curry rice and chips on the square. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, somebody asked what the decision was. So I, I sent it actually to Izzy, and Izzy, I said, you're free to post this where you like. Yeah. I think it's I think it's used the palace approach. We'll only, yeah. we'll only comment if asked, you know, putting the statement out. The next thing, somebody will have yeah. the statement. Yeah, so if people, want, if people want to know the decision, yeah. you know, um, they can know, and it's made, and that is it. Now, isn't yeah, it? Yeah. Okay. And then use of the square, focal point, the riverside bandstand, uh, and obviously we can collaborate more now with um, countryside services or ANOB, and um, perhaps, yeah. perhaps get a get a, a trail developed around town, some kind of a. Shame we can't do Easter because you know one of the things we were looking at for Shape Mechlangotla last year was a Mad Hatter tea party. We we're going to do a treasure hunt around town. Mm. So again, things like that might be useful. Um, SDF funds would be available to support that. Um, Gareth, just in the interest of time, I know that everybody will have will have read through, and there's some. I think overall, I think there's some really great ideas that have come out. Um, yeah. And um, so uh, to me, I guess, in, in terms of kind of the impressions of reading through, I, I totally agree. I think that the, the webinar was, was a big success and, and we did talk in our last working group meeting about some learnings, which I've just shared and you've incorporated the main points into that. Um, so I think in terms of taking it forward, um, as, as I think there's two things. One is how to take forward the webinars and then the other is you know, are there any other ideas that came out of there that we want to take forward in other ways? Um, and yeah. so the webinars, we, we did talk about quite extensively. And I think, it, you know, it'd be a good idea potentially to kick off a new series of webinars on Chittislow Sunday, because that would be um, the end of September. Yeah. And I know a, a good way of marking it. But I think the experience, Peter's not around the table, but he obviously has had a lot of experience with his adventure talks. Um, yeah and you know did raise challenges with organizing that and um and also kind of you know the time pressure for all of us because we all wanted to attend this round of, and, and hear all of the sessions but you know what i, I certainly did wasn't able to make all, all of them 
Um, so I think, you know, if we could say we have one a month from, you know, one at the end of September, one at the end of October, November, December, January, then we've done our five themes, you know, and we're, we're kind of through the winter, autumn, winter. I'll yeah. skip December, I think. Yeah. Can be, yeah. Skip yeah. December. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Peter's, uh, other, Peter's, other advice, Peter's other advice was um, uh, to try and, as best we can, line up the speakers um, at the beginning, so then you can produce a poster um, yeah. with with the speakers in you know in good time. Yeah. So um, you know, have it all lined up, ready to go at the beginning of September. Run the you know by uh, translation and and print. Um, yeah. yeah. Uh, if that sounds good. Um, and so, yeah, so I guess, um, you know, yeah, definitely it would be good to, to take that forward. Um, I can see, I think you've proposed a, a working group to, to take that forward. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I, I guess I was, um, uh, I was wondering what people thought of that. My, um, what I really liked about the webinar series that we just did was that we shared it out between us. Yeah. Um, and you know, with Gareth's support and support from Jen, yeah. um, I think it worked really nicely. Kind of each taking an interest and in, in a lead in one of them. Um, yeah. So I don't know, like, if people what people think about that. It, it, it was very, it was uh, very much in these kind of times of isolation and stuff that 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 there was a great feeling of being part of a team and doing it. Yeah, mm -hmm. and us and us and us doing something together and yeah so i yeah i mean say we're, we're we were um we're not we're not any 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 bigger than a working group would probably be yeah and we have working group sessions as well as formal meetings so yeah we can you know we could just make it one of the focuses for those working groups that we have in between these these official meetings yeah, yeah. yeah. i agree yeah. And, yeah. and it would be really sorry, sorry could, just technical matter could you call it a task and finish group on the webinar even though you're all on it it's because if you if you all meet as the uh, same yesterday with asset management if you all meet as a working group of all the members you will recall i can't attend because then it's you know not it's yeah, okay. a, well, yeah. it's a task and finish group to discuss this web next season webinar yeah. Yeah, and I can attend because it's a specific time limited thing to do it. Yeah, that's yeah. All the reason I'm moving to call it things task and finish. That's fine. You yeah. have another meeting with you know they would be you have those scan, but this would just be meetings in between the scheduled meetings to discuss yeah. the webinar series. That's the difference. It's just the need. It's that we do have a need to have planning meetings as well as like meetings with people might watch. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Can I can I just add add, add just to, to to what Robin's just said? Um, there's some sort of great great ideas and things that have come out of this in that little chart. Uh, uh, what about sharing it with the people that are on that list of addresses, and also sharing it with the people who spoke? Yeah, and we're yeah. It. Yes. Yeah. I that was yeah. going to be what another thought I. I um I had around as I say um kind of how to take those that list forward, and I guess yeah. what it makes me think of when I I read it is the the long list that we generated from our networking events. Yeah. Um, so um I, I guess I don't know like um whether like the best way to take it forward because I am you know I'm consciously conscious <laughs> I'm continuously continuously conscious that. Um, it's all very well meeting and talking about these things, but you know what is it we actually want to take forward? Um, and you know we've tried to take things forward in the past. Uh, most recently, obviously, the borrow bus as an yeah. action that you know that's come up from Chitterslow, um, yeah. but then we've not not found a way forward. So you know what are, what are we trying to do here? I guess is you know if we ha yes, absolutely, let's share the 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 list of ideas, um, but. Oh. but how can we start building them into action and um, and uh, yeah, and kind of seeing where we can best support groups that want to take them forward? I, I, I for, for, first thing I'd, I'd comment or, or, or say is I'm quite, <laughs> I, I, I would be quite happy and it would give me a, a, another activity to keep me sane during lockdown to turn 
this into something that was a little more funky in terms of appearance for us to share rather than it just being a list yes you know kind of yeah, yeah something so something a little funkier so i'll work on that over the next couple of weeks and share it with people yeah, yeah. uh yeah. perhaps we can we can we can just you know just to let people know that yes we've had these and thank you very much for coming and watching and participating and these are the issues that we've picked up from them yeah it's a bit different to us moving forward i was thinking more about okay. uh you know encouraging people in the future to participate and do it that they're not just doing it well yeah. in and then they don't hear from us again yeah yeah and i i guess one thought was and peter's not uh not on the call um but some is, of, some of them, right. is it just oh he's just to drive perfect there he is um, so as I was saying, uh, Peter, um, uh, uh, with the, we're, trying, we're talking about how to take forward any issues that came out of um, uh, the webinars. And so Shem is going to kind of tidy up the list that's in the agenda um, and send it out to groups so that even if people didn't attend the webinars, they can see what was discussed and the ideas that yeah. came out of there. But I was also going to raise the, the idea, you know, if there are pieces that feed into the um, the, uh, the kind of ideas that you'd outlined previously around the climate and ecological emergency and how to take those forward. Yeah. Um, again, kind of tying it into that and seeing, you know, what actions we can take forward and which groups we want to work with on, on those. Um, so I thought that was um, uh, an interesting way we could take that forward as well. Um, the, the final thought was around the newsletter that we've talked about as well. Um, so um, I know the, for those of you that, that maybe weren't part of the discussion, um, the, the purpose of getting the website up and running was so that community groups can then upload a short bit of information about what they've been up to. And then we can download that information and turn it into a, a hard copy newsletter uh, and send that and get that out around the town. Um, so you know, I think we could certainly do a little piece on the webinars about that, um, but also maybe follow up with some of the groups that talked to get them to do a piece as well, particularly where it relates to the climate emergency and maybe have a theme to the to the newsletter on things that groups are doing around that to kind of promote, um, to promote, uh, you know, the action that is being taken. Yeah, yeah. So I guess that was kind of three things, isn't it? One is following yeah. up with all the groups generally through the, the newsletter. Uh, the second is is looking at what can be taken forward through work on the climate emergency. And then the third is uh, what to take forward through a newsletter. Yeah. Okay. I mean, so that if you if you look at the if you look at each of the um, uh, each of the kind of issues raised kind of things, there's big things yeah but it's also little things and yeah, uh, yeah you know some of the some of the some of the little things and and so you've got uh for example in the uh i think it was in the in the food um uh, thing we were talking about um oh what was it which i just lost it now there was one there was one that was talking about um organizing uh, a monthly lunch with zero food waste yeah and inviting yeah, inviting people yeah once we're out of isolation to come along and continue to yeah and recreate the community so that's a little thing that we quite easy to organize yes or relatively easy to organize that we could do very quickly where there's there are other things uh, you know, perhaps some of the things to do with with, uh, with climate emergency and stuff, which are perhaps a bit bigger, yeah, uh, <coughs> kind of longer term kind of things. So I, I'd like to think that out of the list of issues and things that are suggested, we've got little wins as well as big wins, yes? And we've got quick wins in, yeah, yeah. Uh, that'll kind of draw the community in, yeah? And, yeah. and and, and sort of enable us to uh, market Chitterslow, yeah, um, in, in different contexts. Just a thought, yeah. I, I definitely, I definitely agree. And I guess it's it's the bigger question is is really how to engage people in either of those. Um, 
because you know you've got the quick a quick win Shem being the food idea. So that's um, you know there's there's funding available for that, and I've I've shared opportunity. Uh, so Rif, Rif, in Riffin, the DVSC has funding because they run a project called Food for Life, and wow. they they've specifically advertised funding to organise those kind of picnics or other community food groups. And I when I see that, I put it onto Jitterslow. I put it on the town uh, notice board, but yeah. but the groups the groups aren't there to they're not they're not. Stepping up. Yeah. They're not, well, they're not. They're not right. meeting at the minute. That's the. That's the problem. Some of them. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, 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 the the, um, the notion of a community picnic. Uh, Kirsty oh, was an example. Pardon. That was more an example. example. Yeah, yeah. But but that as an example, uh, Angela from the health centre was was kind of uh, well up for that. Yeah. Zero food waste was kind of well up for that, and Kirsty. So you can be, you can easily get a little group together to do little one-off events like that. I think. Yeah. I like the idea of the uh, old vicarage care home having space, looking to develop a, a pub and beer garden. I mean, that's great. Yeah. You know, it, it's just. My name is pencilled on the list. Yeah. My name is pencilled on that list, Mel. Yeah. Are you behind the bar? No, no, no. I was a resident. Yeah, <laughs> getting in early. Yeah, <laughs> great. So look for opportunities to support little wins as well as um, support groups looking for bigger, yeah, yeah. Um, bigger things. Um, okay, and I think Peter, we talked about maybe um, looking towards. Um, uh, maybe a paper on that for maybe next next month um, around how that might tie taking those things forward might tie into kind of climate uh, action on the climate emergency. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of struggling with the admin and working within an organisation at the minute. To be honest, um, I've always worked on my own and making my own decisions, and to work within uh, a very rules based and committee based organisation that is non executive. It's something I've never done. Yeah. Um, so um, it doesn't work very well, does it? <laughs> well, I can see the the reason behind it, um, and you need a lot of checks and balances in place with you know a public organisation. Uh, but actually, working out how to work within that, what I can and cannot do, and how I can make things happen, um, is kind of confusing and frustrating at the minute. Um, I guess in, I, 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 I would guess having worked in that type of organisation since I was 21, really, yeah, um, mm. for local authority, um, I'm, I'm, I'm guessing the, um, it stilts the process a little bit. And I agree, it can be totally frustrating when you want to do something tomorrow and it won't happen tomorrow. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. the, the kind of, I don't, I don't know whether Gareth would agree, the basic... The basic model is to take what you've just said in terms of I've got these ideas and I want to do this, yeah, uh, write them down and then bring them to a group like this who will say, yeah, that's great, yeah, mm -hmm. and go away and you can carry on and you can do it. So, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah either bring it to a committee or, or uh, get hold of me and we'll write a report to take it to council and get actions done. Yeah. The way through. Mm -hmm. You know, bring for bring forward the ideas. I want you know, yeah. I can knock it into the format that needs for the discussion papers, uh, and just get things done. It's, it's still not happening because or helping that we're in lockdown. That's making everything on top of it and time more difficult. That's and that is very much I, what I'm, I've got the kind of bedside lights up in Penguin because I ordered some for Penguin from Argus. And then I order something myself, and where's the post office deliver it to Penguin? So you know, <laughs> these are the things you live up with at the moment, isn't it? Because you can't just go and buy something. So yeah, it is. like I said, I mean, you weren't at the um, induction, but you know, it, we're, we're more like super tankers, local government. You know, we we get to, we get there in the end, but to turn around takes a long time. No, I understand that. It's just and, and, it's it's, uh, it's about I, a bit. I, more, I, yeah, I, I spent my working life in a position where I decide what I'm doing, yeah. 
Yeah. Uh, yeah. I change what I'm doing. I reinvent everything I do repeatedly and get on with it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So it's, uh, okay. the, the last time I worked in a large organization was uh, 1988 as a student. Yeah. And I was fairly independent then anyway, because I was a student and they were paying me half the money or less for the work. Yeah. <laughs> And I don't, I don't think it's any secret, Peter, that I, I struggled to, to adjust as well. But that's kind of what, you know, when we've talked about it, um, you know, mm -hmm. I, I guess I'm happy to meet any time, as I said, and, yeah. uh, and mm -hmm. discuss what it is you, you want. And so and to, to, to figure out a way to, to move that forward. And, you know, we can do that with Gareth and have a three way conversation, yeah. or talk, um, whichever, whatever suits you best. Um, but um, I think the, the key, you know, and this this goes for our work you know why the working group sessions are are so valuable because in this you know in these times when we can't just run into each other walking down the street and have a chat about it you know it's a mm -hmm. kind of alternative to have a you know a brainstorm as to to the next steps um so yeah. um, you know certainly we can we can do that more widely as well uh, but happy to to have a chat um all right yeah. There's also nothing, there's, I mean, so there's, there's nothing within the rules that stops us from meeting informally, even if it's in this format, just to brainstorm and kick around a few ideas, yeah. bounce ideas off, of, or, you know, it, it's that, the, the system allows us to do that. What it doesn't allow us to do is to make the decision to, yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. to, to, to move forward, but not to stop us talking about stuff, yeah? yeah. Well, mm -hmm. I think it's the, act of the the moving forward to action that uh, Peter wants to see, <laughs> yeah. which I, I, I endorse as well. But, it, so. It's the bits in the middle I've never done. <laughs> as um, Stuart yeah. Davis would say, outcome, not process. Yeah. That was his old strap line. He's changed now. It's process, not the outcome. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's always been shout as loud as you can. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, we do have an audience now, guys. Yeah. 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 We do need to talk as well because, I mean, this week I just, well, I, on the set of training the other day, it went on the session on climate change for local authorities. Found out that the next um, uh, tendering or whatever for electricity price is going to be dead easy because there's only three green companies, totally true green companies. Mm -hmm. Deep, but green something. Green, and everything. green energy. Ecotricity isn't taking anybody on, they've told me. I've already had uh, details from Green Energy, is it? And I'm waiting for another one because um, Centenary Square's electric is up for renewal in April. Mm -hmm. So uh, hopefully I get asset, we're going to have early asset management. So, you know, there are things that I'm doing from the council point of view yeah. to get that going. That's you know, great. Triodos, I mean, again, we've looked at that. They're not taking any of the um, deposits. No, neither a co-op. No. I'm waiting on a co-op account. I've done for about three or four months. Uh, you know, also, I think they should be the next on the list, aren't they? There, there is also um, um, Unity Trust, you know, which is an offshoot, mm -hmm. uh, which a lot of councils are with. So it's not that things aren't happening on the council side. Yeah. But mm -hmm. We just get together and say, but we want to get, I mean, we just need to have some kind of, as you say, an action plan and who's doing what. Yeah. Um, that's well, can why. we maybe, maybe on that note? Can we should we have an action that um, that the three of us have a have a meeting to brainstorm ideas, Peter, and, and help you yeah. kind of work through it? Um, so happy to do that. Uh, yeah. If Gareth could set that up, um, yeah, yeah. Uh, that would be great. Um, just going back to the recommendations. Um, so there were three recommendations. So um, the first was to note the support provided by Jen um, in promoting the webinars. So um, can I just check on that, Gareth? I, I wasn't sure how that came about. Did Jen step up and volunteer, did she? Uh, no, you, you know, you said, um, uh, why don't we spend some money? I mm -hmm. thought, good idea. And um, and we all know the circumstances there, I think. So I just asked her, would she be, you know? Okay. Sure I think, um, yeah, uh, I because I, hadn't, I didn't realise that we wouldn't be able to do that so, ourselves. So um, I just think next time. Well, I, um, I started the design, but, uh, you know, it, in the end it was. Okay. So, different things required uh but it, she did much more than she'd originally quoted for that's what i'm saying okay oh that's great we yeah. added, added and added didn't we the event right and all that she was just right. asked to do a series of posters and then she did a lot so mm -hmm. and didn't charge any more so 
Yeah. Okay. I don't because I, I don't remember actually saying let's spend some money because I was quite surprised that we were spending money because um, certainly if if I'd known that we were going to I could have um, I could have done some of that um, as well um, with Eventbrite and, and posters and things. Well, so, you are, it was actually your suggestion at the committee when we discussed it. Okay. All right. I don't and, yeah. Well, I took that on board. Great. Okay. Well, anyway, it, it came together well and looked really nice. So um, indeed, yeah. very well done to Jen and, and uh, great to know we've got those talents in the town to yeah. uh, move that forward. Um, and I think, yeah, good experience kind of working out the, the links with Eventbrite and we can build on that to, to be able yeah. to get more, more attention for next, next time. Um, and then the other two, we said um, appropriate mechanisms to take forward the issues identified. So one is one of the actions there is uh, to meet uh, uh, Peter and I and we can meet to take forward anything around the um, the climate and ecological emergency uh, then also to um, that Sean is going to circulate yeah. Yeah. Uh, circulate an update to town groups which is brilliant um, set up the task and finish group was the other thing we said and then set up the task and finish group to plan for the the next round yeah. starting from September okay yeah. Well, I propose we do those. Yeah. Okay. Great. Right, <laughs> All in favour? Yeah. Thank okay. you. I, can I can I ask because I uh, I'm writing a report for this uh, meeting on Saturday. Nothing controversial. Just kind of what we've been doing, really. Is it all right to incorporate this into it? Yes. Yeah. 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 And um, uh, uh, and just just for information, what I plan to do. Just because we're in kind of lockdown, and I know what the other reports from the other towns will look like, I'm going to do the kind of quick and slow stuff and the webinars and the website and things that we've done. Uh, but I'm also going to do a community section, stuff that's gone on in the community, which is not necessarily us. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Identify as that. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, that's great. Thank you. Great. Brilliant. Um, okay. Well, just put out chat. Did, did you, did you, you had a copy of what was done for the the report on the grants, Clacanyog and all that, remember? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did yeah. you get on that as well? Yeah, so, yeah. Just yeah. for that. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Great. Um, all right. Um, on to the next agenda. I think that's an update on the website, Gareth. Yeah, we decided um, to try and move it to with a little bit more control, I think. The okay, councillor Lovelock kindly gave me some um, uh, things that needed to be doing. I, I sent them to APS Rex. Uh, they've had a look at it. They're quite happy to, confident they can do a lot of the changes. You know, we've got the logos and things. Um, and then we'll get it hosted onto their, 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 their server. Um, the only couple of issues are, as, as you know, they're not the easiest. Uh, and we, we've been having some invoices at the moment, which I thought we weren't going to be charged again because of the problems we've had. So I've asked that question, but they haven't come back to me yet. Uh, but we do need uh, admin codes, and I'm not sure who's got those, whether somebody's got the admin. And then there are certain things that he's got the admin codes he can ask of Go Quanto to get the thing. Okay. I thought you'd maybe been in touch with them, which prompted their um, flurry of, of emails, which gave us one day to respond yeah. or something. Yeah, well, we're on the fourth reminder now, I think. Uh, I, think yeah. Uh, yeah. I think that's what happened. I think John may have made contact and asked a question, um, and then that triggered it off. But it's just to find, you know, ratify that we're happy to go to ACS, and then just somebody can supply the admin codes to him, so that I can give you the email, whoever's got them. So I keep it as confident between confidential between as many as few people as, as possible uh, and then um he will get on to doing the, the transfer and then doing the changes once he's got control of the website great okay um, how much will the, how much is he going to charge for that does it break, does it need to go out to three quotes or anything well no it's because because we're asking to host it as part of our package of cloud-based services and our, like our website It'll, it, it, it'll probably come out of the main budget and I have to chitter slow, so I wouldn't worry too much. Uh, okay. And he's uh, confident he can transfer over, once he's got the admin codes from them, he's confident uh, he can transfer uh, over. Once he's got admin codes, there's a couple of things he needs, like, I don't know, I'm not tacky enough, for GoQuanto to allow it to transfer 
from them, but you need to get into the admin side first, and then um, you can probably make the staff and change again if you've got the admin as well, I presume. Can you, I, I'll chase them up again as well, because they only intermittently respond, yeah. um, but, um, and maybe you can as well, and we'll copy each other, but yeah. could you ask him very specifically to list what he needs from them? Yeah, I have asked that, unfortunately he's not got it by tonight, mm -hmm. probably it. It's only two like line codes or something and then that, that allows it to move across yeah so that's fine so um if we can we'll sort that out in the next week or two and then hopefully it'll get transferred as soon as possible if they if they play on their side really that would be good um we had talked about sending using the website to get the um to get a newsletter out um as i think we talked about doing it in february and here we are early march um so as soon as we can get that back up and under our control yeah. Um, if we can then be ready to to get that out to um, the groups to give the, you know those groups that have been active, particularly um, we talked in the working group session about having that focused on the climate emergency to kind of recognise in a newsletter form that we have declared a climate emergency. This is what groups are doing in the town um, towards that, and to get um, to get. You know a selection of those that involved that were involved in the webinars and and other things that we're aware of profiled yep okay are we happy can we have are people happy to move forward doing in that way mm -hmm. yes okay. yeah. Yeah. No problem. yeah um and then um so whenever that happens then i can work with gareth to take that forward and and get little store little stories captured and then yeah. we'll probably all we'll need to come together to figure out how to um, how to do the newsletter. Shem, I definitely remember earlier on this discussion when all this was planned that you were going to put the newsletters together. I'll put the newsletters together once there's stuff to put in them. I don't mind doing that. Okay. Uh, I, I think I think I think how how I'm I, how I'm kind of rationalising uh, where we are, which makes it sound better than we discussed this in March 2020. And here we are in February 21. Is it? It's kind of we've just been stumped, haven't we? We've been in this kind of time warp, really, uh, and and a kind of still at that starting position of populating it with local groups, yeah, and populating it with the stories from local groups. And and I can't, I, I you know, we, I, I think we'll move that forward, but it will be a, a slow movement forward until people start meeting again because the conversations that i'm having out there i know i know that, 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 that kind of you and peter are, are fairly techy and up to you know, communicating like this is, is is kind of a second nature but for a lot of the groups that exist within town yeah basically their problem is they're not getting together because they yeah they're not doing it on the internet and they you know they're active when they are meeting in person so uh, I think we need to. Well, I, think, I, I, I definitely agree, Shem, and 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 think uh, that's you know I don't think there's anything to be concerned about that we haven't moved this forward over this last year because I don't think there was the right time to be trying to get groups to do stuff. Yeah. Everybody's really yeah. it's not yeah. a priority. Um, I think you're right that a lot of groups haven't been meeting because of the format of being able yeah. to meet. Some have, but not all. Um, but I also think that there is also a risk that. Um, to the town that um, the former mayor Mike um, raised to me. I ran into him at school pickup the other day, yeah. and uh, he was just really flagging up the uh, something that we've talked about previously, and I've been very conscious of really since I came to the town is that a lot of the groups in town are older people. Um, yeah. haven't, they haven't been meeting because of this format, um, and many of them have, have really you know, have taken this time to reflect on the level of commitments that they have and what they want to be doing with their time. Um, and so there is a risk for the town in, you know, in that the, we may not come out of this with as many active groups as possible. And even those ones that are active may be struggling with kind of a succession, um, how to move forward. Which um, kind of takes us in full circle because before we actually started talking formally, yeah, that, that I, I, I kind of said that that came out of last night's meeting and has come out of a few discussions I've had with people on the ground that we need, you know, basically asking for the town council's help, not that the town council do it, 
but that the count, town council has the organisation to um, uh, uh, kind of organise an event where the very groups you're talking about, yes, yep. um, are, are able to come and, and, and promote themselves and ask for volunteers. And yeah, uh, yeah, and I, I, I totally agree. Um, can I, I mean, look at the tiny town team. Yeah. They can hardly swing a pick now. Yeah, 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 yeah. And it and it's but well, it, I mean, it, it, seriously, they're very yeah, old. You know. and I, yeah, I, I don't, I don't, I, 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 I totally agree with that. I think, I think one of the, one of the things having having been involved, having been involved in in, in past existence in terms of uh, voluntary groups and stuff uh, for, for like a lifetime, um, it's it's who you target, yeah, because the cry and the mantra is always. We need younger people, yeah. Uh, and the trouble with younger people is, you know, they're you caught, do they're caught in. They're trying to find, yeah. You know, they're in the early stages of their jobs. They haven't got the free time because they're socialising more and all of that. And actually, the target audience is is those people who are freshly retired. Yeah, it's that yeah. they're, they're they're the people they're the people that we need to be targeting in terms of, you know. Uh, 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 Spare. Yeah, having uh, I'm guessing I'm guessing changing it changing it from we need your help to we can help you pro by providing you with activity. Yeah, now you're not as committed as you were to work. Yeah, yeah, uh, and that's the kind of selling point. Yes, is 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 you know, giving well, that's people. A great idea. That's that's one thing we can really push. Yeah, you know, kind kind of marketing it. Marketing it as a positive rather than marketing it as uh, we need your help because we haven't got enough people doing it, yeah? I we can help you have some spare, get rid of some spare time. Yeah, yeah, totally, yeah, 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 totally. I think I think that's um, that's spot on in terms of targeting that, um, that age group in, in a way. Um, the only thing I would, like, I think that's a key message um, I wonder if it's worth kind of like raising it in a slightly different way because it might, I think there's another issue that plays into this that people get involved in some of the town groups, but they're not doing, like they're not like being active and doing and finding ways to move things forward. Maybe they don't have the, the funding or the money to do, to do what they want to do. Like you think back to our networking group sessions, there was a long list of things that groups were working on, but which of those are actually being taken forward? So yeah. is there a question also, like, are we, like, turning to the opposite from what you've just said, right. are, we, are, are, we, are, are we or our groups excluding people that might want to volunteer, like, by, by, I don't know, not finding ways to engage them? So I wonder if there's, like, um, I'm just thinking out loud here, but I wonder if there's, like, a, a slightly different question is around um, what, and I'm just coming up, I'm just thinking this now, but, like, almost getting groups to ask themselves during this time like what is it that they want to be like in terms of do they you take the tidy town team do they i know people have tried to join them and they've not kind of felt like it's a welcoming space so does the group itself want to sustain itself if so like what kinds of opportunities could they be providing for a range of people do they just want to target um you know those I think there's an issue with what you've just said, though. Mm -hmm. There's an issue with what you've just said because it's mm -hmm. to do with volunteers, yeah? Mm -hmm. And it's to do with volunteer organisations. And the Tommy said the Taddy Town team do an absolutely brilliant job, yeah? Do an absolutely brilliant job helping us. And we've asked to do something, they will do it. But I would guess that if we started to try and organise the Taddy Town team, as they were, uh, uh, as if they were a kind of a local contractor or whatever, and tell them what we wanted to do moving forward. I might, I might not have picked up on what you said correctly, but it, it's about volunteers wanting to do something in the context of what they want to do. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, that, I was thinking about them the other day, and they they go out and by nature they tidy now. Yeah. And they build. Do they have a biodiversity policy? Yeah. 
Yeah. Because that's critical at the minute. They build. But how would you get them to take that on? Yeah, yeah totally. That's, I'm guessing that's what I'm, I'm kind of saying, really. And, 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 you know, it would be a case of um, informing them and talking to them and, yeah, and mm. putting information out there. Uh, at, like the kind of webinar things we did rather than telling people what to do. I mean, see, part of, part of, the, part of the joy of being 67 and involved in like several groups in town when we're open and is is the fact that I can choose to do it or not choose to do it. Yeah. yeah. And nobody yeah. I haven't got a boss and nobody telling me what to do. Yeah. And that's kind of part of the joy of it. Mm. And I guess that that's, that's the joy for all of the groups. I mean, say the 2020 group, you know, they've got people who love acting. They've got people who love building stage things. They've got people that like making costumes. Um, they do it because they love doing what they're doing. Yeah, they so are. They're, 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 that's another group that's got the same issue, though, that they're all older as well. Um, oh, yeah, yeah, totally. They need, they, they, they're, 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 uh, that I would guess there, was, there isn't a group, uh, there isn't a group in town that couldn't do with more volunteers. And I totally agree. That so a lot you, you, of them need yeah. volunteers who are a little younger than the, yeah. Um, so I, no, I, I just want to clarify, Mel, and we'll come to you a sec, but I just want to clarify that that, um, that Shem had, um, had did slightly misunderstand what I was trying to make, which admittedly was a bit rambling. Um, but it wasn't that I was looking to in, in any way tell any group, uh, you know, what they should do, but more um to see to ask whether there's an element of support that we could be offering groups in helping them think through what they want so if you take the 2020 group that you just mentioned that we wouldn't it wouldn't be so much saying this is what they should do but these are ways that they could be thinking about them about their group as to you know what what kinds of things are they offering the older uh, members of the public what kinds of things are they offering the younger members of the public um, you know, because you might have very willing woodworkers or whatever that want to build those skills. We don't, we just don't know. But more is there, uh, you know, going to Councillor, uh, going to Peter's point around biodiversity, you know, are there groups that would like to know how to do an audit of those kind of things and to understand how they can do better in that? So, so I just, I don't want to overcomplicate it, but are there a, key, a few key areas where groups might want some support? Um, so we go back. We go back to, and the way the way to go about doing what you're describing, it goes back to the to the early meetings we had in kind of autumn 2020, where we sat round tables in the town hall, and uh, people sat and identified you know, a, a training need that everybody would value. So an example of that was first aid came up a few times. Yeah, so uh, getting those groups together and identifying the kind of common strands again, yeah, uh, might, might, might kind of help. We talked about providing training and stuff, and then bam, COVID came and this got in the way of it. So perhaps we need to revisit that and identify from from the you know from the, from the groups out there uh, what it is we can do. Another major um, thing that people talked about, wasn't it, was um, uh, you know how to how to go about writing a grant application. Yeah, uh, you know, just a, a, a kind of a three-hour session on that. Yeah, could change how people apply and fill in forms dramatically. So it's that maybe, kind of thing, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. I wonder if maybe a way forward on this could be to kind of make a list of areas that they the groups might want support coming out of the COVID era, um, when we kind of recognising that. Well, let's say coming out of maybe attempted taking a pause in but um you know like i don't know um Does how, it come from them rather than us though yeah well just to ask them like these are areas that we're conscious that people have asked for support previously in the networking meetings for example these are areas these are other you know we might add some in that we're just conscious of around the kind of aging or you know the the ecological emergency um and we just say, would any, would, any, would your members want to uh, participate in this and, and have it as a, you know, we can offer a range of ways that they, they engage with it. But 
I think the other the other thing that often comes up for me with this is those people, and this is kind of a, a broader comment, Gareth, for, for when we're communicating with them as well, is I'm very, I'm always quite conscious that um, we end up with one email address that probably goes to one person. And I, yeah. feel, I feel there is a significant issue in the town where um, that point of contact is often the end of the story. And that we need, you know, like, as we write to people, we should consciously be saying, could you please discuss with your members and come back to us with um, a, a position or a, you know, a, a whatever we're asking for, but as, as a general point, but in this case, you know, could you please discuss these issues, you know, whether you could, you would like any help with any of these issues if we were to set up some training sessions um, as we come out of the, the COVID period and we'll and then see what comes back because you know it's it's as i know from food assembly uh, food uh, days it's very easy to set up the training and then you can spend uh weeks of your time chasing people to commit to them yeah, yeah. i have to say i'm out of here at one at 7 30. okay yeah. thank you Mel. yeah so we've got recommendations we're talking about in terms of the website we kind of moved off task, really, haven't we? Yeah. yeah. I, I was assuming that's what's going to go into the newsletter, all this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, so that's what I've just written here. <laughs> we could, to frame part of that and summarise that, we could do sort of a signposting to a green recovery as part of that newsletter. I've posted in the chat the link to the uh, Conway and Denbyshire Services Board. And... Yeah things which yeah. kind yeah. of fit yeah. in with a lot of that yeah. uh, plus yeah. the stuff you're talking about about getting clubs going again and helping clubs uh, market for new members if you like yeah yeah okay I think um, we just need we do we need we need further discussion on 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 the direction of all of that kind of stuff beyond in that five minutes really yeah okay. i had yeah all right well i guess um maybe that's something we could have a you know a, a social chat about at some point as well um yeah, okay. and the best way forward there um gareth as an action i don't know what you got down for that action but i'd be happy to work with you or to you know if you wanted to take the lead on drafting a kind of checklist type survey as to ask groups what they would like, what support they would like. Yeah, fine. Thank you. Um, and then, as you say, we can advertise that through the, the newsletter and website. Yeah. Mm. OK. Um, good, a helpful discussion, guys. I know it's, um, uh, it's you know, it's, it's complicated to know what always to how to kind of move it forward, um, you know, during this time, but um, you know, I think it's worth giving it a go. Um, okay, back to the agenda. Um, we've had the town clerk's report. So correspondence, um, is it just the yeah. one there, Gareth? Have, have, we got to, have we got to vote on the recommendations at the bottom of the... Oh, well, I think you, then yeah. you did that and then you moved on to talking about the new plan. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, uh, unfortunately, yes, uh, we've had this short um, email from Maya um, on two fronts, really. She said that she's no longer the representative of um, Plastic Free Flagoslin as well, and that Friends of the Earth were trying to find somebody else to take her role. And then, um, for various reasons, she wanted to step down from Chittislow, so... Yeah, she did. She did call me before she sent that, and I know she's um, she stepped down from Friends of the Earth, Langothlin. So um, uh, we did touch on this uh, when we had the last social chat, and um, and think about some representatives. So I know previously we talked about the South Denbyshire Community Partnership, um, and then uh, other I've, other ideas that had come up were another representative from. Friends of the Earth, maybe somebody that's involved in other things as well from Friends of the Earth. So it's not just the one hat, but multiple hats. Uh, and I have um, I have checked, and they have a couple of people that they would be willing to to have a chat with if that was something we did want to proceed with. Um, Kirsty Wild, 
And then Kirsty Wilde would be another option as well with, again, a couple of hats that she wears around food. Um, she runs, she works the coordinator for the food group and is a governor at the school and food chair. So, right. yeah. yeah. That's good. Yeah. She's strong, she's strong in the Penguin community as well, isn't she? Yeah. She is, yes, actually. So, yeah. So I would say if we if we approach those three um, and ask if um, somebody from Friends of the Earth and the the names that su were suggested there, in case anyone has any opinions, is um, uh, Max Elson, um, who is a governor at um, a school He seems a nice chap. Yeah. 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 Um, and um, he is he's also an ecology officer, so could help with the. Uh, an ecology specialist, I should say, not an officer. Um, so he could also help with the biodiversity town plan uh, and action on that front. Um, and he is, I can't remember what else he's involved in, he's involved in something else as well. Um, and then Sam Rex Edwards is another uh, Friends of the Earth option. Um, she's a governor at, um, at a school in Kotlin. Um, but uh, I did wonder if we were approaching Kirsty Wilde, uh, and I'm also on the committee, then that's three Brincotlin links. Um, um, and so I, I'm, I would... I'm one of their governors as well. Yeah. Okay. So I did, I thought Max, Max also, it does sound like he would be willing to be considered and um, I thought he could really... How many um, people are we talking about? One or two? We used to have two, didn't we? We've had two, but it says, I think we have up to three. You don't, you're not limited, really, because, you know, they're non-voting. It's just uh, yeah. to give a specific input. So. Yeah. I think we were going to invite somebody and then sort of like, call, well, yeah, have too many people say, yes, I'd like to be involved, and then have to say to them, yeah. Well, should I draft a letter to these groups and ask them yeah. if want to be part? Yeah, yeah. Um, if, we could, if we could invite, we talked about uh, SDCP, um friends of the earth and then yeah. and kirsty as an individual as yeah. an individual. Yeah. i mean i could address that to food chair yeah yeah so we're looking at organizations to give us a rep okay yeah. yeah all right i'll do that okay um that sounds great um thank you all and mel i know you've got one more minute to go um to receive reports submitted to the committee and determine to determine what action if any Anything on that, Gareth? Or is that verbal report? Shem could have said it would normally report a feedback recently. He's going next weekend, isn't it, Shem? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it'll be, you know, unless... Next, next, next one, yeah. Again, you know, nobody's really going anywhere at the moment.